Hola amigos, I hope everyone is doing good today. So I just want to talk about opening a bank account here for a few minutes. This is going to be a pretty quick video. So we went down to uh, the Scotia Bank because I asked online in some uh, groups about oh, where's the best place for Canadians to open a bank account. And a lot of people were saying Scotia Bank, Scotia Bank. So, all right, so there's a Scotia Bank not too far from here. So we, me and Jennifer went down there and the guy says, oh no, you got to be permanent residency. Well, that doesn't make sense. Okay, so whatever, we left a little defeated and no big deal. So I thought, well, maybe it's a language thing. Maybe he didn't quite understand. So we went back down there again, same bank, same guy. And then he asked about our documents and we handed him our, our temporary residency. That's what we have, temporary residency, our green card. And he said, no, you, you can't, you need a permanent resident. I'm like, okay, whatever. So that was our experience at the Scotia Bank here in Merida at the uh, Harbor Mall, right? Yeah. Gallerias. Galleria. So anyway, I don't know if all the Scotia Banks are like that. I don't believe they are, but that's what he told us. We went in there twice, tried to open a bank account, we wouldn't let us. So I went to the next option, which a lot of people were saying, the BBBA Bank, which is a Mexican bank. So we, me and Jennifer went down there at City Center in Merida. And it was super busy in there. And we don't speak the language, so uh, we used a uh, translator app to, to tell the guy what we wanted. And he said, yeah, no problem, give us your ticket. We go in and we wait, we wait. We waited about half hour, and uh, they come and told us after we waited. It was probably over half hour, to be honest with you. It was quite a while. Anyway, so the guy comes up and says, oh, we were unable to, to process you today. We're locked out of the system. So we can't open no new bank accounts. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, so again, left, defeated, and then uh, I said, well, you know, we've already wasted a lot of day, why don't we go to the, the other mall, Liverpool Mall, right? Liverpool Mall, babe, that's where we were? Yeah, we went to the Harbour Mall then. Oh, sorry, okay, now we're at the Harbour Mall. So now we go to the Harbour Mall, to the BBBA bank there, very, very quiet. It was hard, there was nobody in there, nobody. So we asked the lady, how long are you gonna be? We told her what we wanted, open a bank account. I know oh, I put, put you in right now. Same thing, we had to use the, the translator app. And then, uh, so yeah, we got in right away and no problem, bing, bang, boom. We set up a bank account, the app here. You, uh, so they have an app at this bank where you download it and use the app. Well, the app didn't work. Okay, no big deal, so we go home. We try to log in, we can't log in. Oh, okay, well maybe we're not in the system yet, we'll wait. So we wait, uh, Jennifer tries again today, and same thing, can't log in, okay. So she gets all of her stuff, goes down to the bank. The guy, very nice, very nice at that bank. Super nice people, super friendly, very helpful. Uh, logs her in. Everything works. Great. Okay. Back in the car she gets, comes home, goes to log in, can't log in. <laughs> it's like, okay, what are we doing wrong here? So, a little frustrated. <laughs> so, back down to the bank she goes. This time she took her laptop with her. So, what had happened was, when she created the password, it said eight characters or ten characters or whatever it is, well, it let her enter the password and go over the characters and she had never noticed. So I might have said eight characters and she put in a password of 10 characters and I let her put it in, but it obviously cut off the last two characters. So needless to say, we were entering in the wrong password the whole time, but after two trips to the bank before we figured this out, and then there was a lady that worked at the bank that, that did speak a little bit of English, was able to help Jennifer and then realized that we had entered in too many characters for the password. But normally, if you had done that, it would have come up and said, no, you can't use this for a password, especially at a bank with a security in that. You would think it would have said, no, this will not work. You have too many characters for the password or something, but it didn't. It just cut off the <laughs> the last two two characters. And so anyway, long story short, after two tips to the bank, a day and a half of uh, running around, we finally, finally got a bank account open and one that she can access. 
and transfer money. So she's just did a small transfer to see, make sure everything was gonna work okay. So she did two, she did one through the bank and then how'd you do the other one, babe? Transfer wise, yeah. So the other one was, uh, sorry about that. Uh, was Jennifer's over there just working away. <laughs> and the dog's sleeping beside her like always. So, so anyway, uh, we'll see how this goes. And uh, yeah, uh, remember when you're in a foreign country, especially, well, anywhere for that matter, uh, a good thing to remember is uh, stop, take a breath, have some patience. So, I mean, we were, we didn't get upset with anybody. We we're more mad. Um, it's just a little frustrating, that's all. And it all worked out for the end, so we're thankful for that. So, anyway, that's our experience with uh, opening a bank. And I highly recommend BBVA. And when you do open your account, make sure you check the characters. How many characters am I putting in for this password? Because if it says eight and you put 10 in, it's gonna put in the first eight and cut the last two off. So. <laughs> There's a little tip for anybody who's going to open a bank account in Mexico. Uh, be sure the characters uh, read this, read the fine print. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let you go and uh, have yourself a fabulous day. Peace out.